Robertson, Petrie, are you free? I'm free. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we had to, darling. We had to. That makes me Captain Peacock. Colonel Peacock. Yeah, Captain, Captain, Captain Peacock. Peacock. Where's Captain. your carnation? You didn't bring me one today. All I'm going to say is, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, <laughs> so it's champagne day. So it's champagne day. <laughs> pop, pop. Yes, we got sent these sample bottles by... The lovely people at Billy Car Salmon from Troutfish um, Wheelbarrow. We know. Wheelbarrow Troutfish. <laughs> you don't deserve nice champagne. I love my. Um, so. And then oh, that was a bit. So much. this is the thing about this is it's wooded. It is wooded. It's as you That's can see. That's why it looks like wood. As you can see, can you actually see if, see if I'm in the frame? Because I don't know if I'm... You definitely are. I definitely am, okay. But a um, bit over so I can get Okay, right, okay, there no, we go. No. Um, so basically, as you can see, it's got a sort of woody label on it, mm -hmm. which is nicely textured and probably made out of wood. Uh, one third of Pinot Noir, Pinot Meunier and Chardonnay fermented in oak barrels, which are average of 15 years of age. So it's basically... Six years on bottling. Right. So it's basically the, the MV, but aged in wood and a bit longer in bottle as well. Yeah. I don't know what, I don't know what um, Billica's non-vintage... Not six years, um, surely. Sorry? Not six years. No, no, no. no I, I don't know what their normal great breakdown is. I think it's I think it's the classic three? three three and three. Is it? Yeah. Um, so um, these are sample bottles. I actually haven't had a look and see what price they are. Um, I'll put a little note in the in the, the section. Probably around like 50, 55. somewhere around about there. Um, well, it, immediately that's very nice and just a nice bit of slight oxidization. Yeah, from it, the oak. it's also got this. Um, oh, it does smell woody. toffee. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, it's sort of like Thornton's toffees. Yeah, it's oaky, but in a in a very subtle sort of racy way, but it still you feels can, youthful. You can smell those red grapes. Though. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. So really rich, it's like a, a fruity. Yeah, a plump redness, yeah. um, which is what Meunier does. Because it's interesting, because like usually Meunier is just sort of pink grapefruit somewhere, but when you oak it, I guess it becomes a bit, you know. I'm just, just looking at the moose, it seems to go dead pretty quick. Hold on, yeah. I'm just gonna do a rinse, because that moose was, Wondering if there's a bit of detergent on it. Yes, that doesn't better. Do. <laughs> um, yes, toff the, the toffee is really creeping out for, for me on this, and and then you've also got this the, the red fruit. You've got almost a bit of a, a, a bit of almost um, oh, it's like crumble topping. For sure, for sure. Crumble topping, just ever so slightly. Now that is a joy. A huge, huge improvement. This is definitely my style of champagne, where it's. A bit meater and thicker, but it's still zingy and fresh. It's not as meaty as some that we have, but it's definitely a bit more just there, present, attacking. Um, I like that. Mm. I think it's it's very nice. It's it's it, you're right when you say it's got that it's got that weight. It's got it's it's got that 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 meat on the bones, but there is still that but real there's, clear there's, acidity. There's a clear like which is so sharp, may which is yep. just that the, the like the razor sharp line going right through it, mm -hmm. which is what you want from champagne because when you get that cloying aftertaste, it's like Ew. yeah, that would be lovely with a fish course or something. It it's would, not it's not quite you know. You know, first bottle of the night. No, it's not. It's, but it's definitely more foody. You know, you could have that with like a sea bass or something. Like Price though. Well, yeah. I mean, this is probably going to be like sixty or something. It's going to be somewhere, so sort of, let's say between their their their, their demi sec and their and their. Um, and their rosé pricing, oh, which is yeah. somewhere in that fifties price point. Um, Fifty. Mm, I think that's a, that's probably about fair. Yeah, um, yeah it's, it's about fair. You, yeah. I, I also think that the packaging, and this this is the one thing that I think small producers love them as though I do. They don't spend the money on packaging, and that is going to sell. It's well, you know, they, they can't it's to, no, no, no. Of course, they, of course, but but, and it's not a criticism of them, but. This is going to sell because it's a cool bit of packaging. Bit, you know, it screams, do um, you like wood? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> I think this is great. Yeah, I like I it. I really like that. It's, it's, def a, it's re reinstated my faith in Bilicar a bit. And it, it, the other thing is, is it's a family company, so it's staying yeah. within our ethos. Exactly. Which is all good. Have a lovely day.